Hi everyone, welcome to my art space today. Um, to be quite honest, I've been a little bit stuck for ideas for the 100 day project, what to paint and what to do. So um, I remembered this cushion cover, uh, which um, I have um, done a little bit of watercolor with this before, but I thought it might be a cool idea to use uh, this cushion cover as an inspiration and using this charcoal pen and draw with my dominant or non-dominant hand which is my left hand and then paint um, uh, you know do a little bit of watercolor uh, if you are new here you may be wondering what I am using I have started uh, this uh, so another uh, book. I didn't use that Roan book, but I bought myself another book. And if you want to see the other pages, uh, it is in my playlist. Um, you can have a look. And um, uh, I have started. So we are on day uh, 20. And, um, and I must say, I love painting on these book pages. It's been really amazing to paint on them. Uh, so rather than a sketchbook, I've decided to paint on them. And I have not used gesso because simply number one is because I don't have gesso. And uh, the other thing is I um the other thing is I didn't really want to go out and buy extra supplies. If I didn't need to so I'm just using what I have and that is the idea and so using my do non dominant hand making these flowers and seeing what it turns out like have you been stuck before uh, and what do you do? How do you get out of your rut? Because sometimes I'm feeling that way. Because at the start, when I first started creating, of course, you're excited and full of ideas. And then suddenly it becomes like there's all these things that seem to, I don't know, Maybe I'm thinking, oh, I've done that before, you know, I've done that before. I don't need to do that. So I'm just wondering whether you've been there before and how did you get out of your rut? Um, it's, it's not a nice feeling because sometimes you feel stuck. But like today for me, I decided, you know what, I am. I have done this before in one of my journals but not a full page. So maybe I could do something similar. And, um, you know, just drawing first. And then let's see what happens. I actually love um, doing scrappy drawing. I'm not sure if you do. Because I find that it's a bit more giving. It's, um, it's less intimidating. And when you make a mistake... It's not so, um, it's not so visible. And let's see if I can. Drawing with the non-dominant hand is quite interesting, I think. And especially when you're critical of yourself, I think this is a good way to make you non-critical. Oh my 
goodness, that looks terrible. But let's see, in the whole scheme of things, it might be okay when you put it all together. I don't know how that's going to go. Well, this is a vlog, so which means that, you know, you have to put up with some of the stuff when it's live. And maybe some... Okay, this is going to be interesting. And maybe just a one more here. If you notice leaves outside, they're never straight, flowers are never straight. Do you like watercoloring? This is just me trying and exploring. I do not claim to be an expert, if you know my story. I um, started junk journaling when mum went into hospital uh, in a, so that I have some form of, um, of a way to release that negative energy that was affecting me and this was one way that really helped me that's to create art Creating art is a good way to help us to try something new, to experiment. And because you can control what is on your page, it helps you to process sometimes those emotions that you can't explain, you can't put into words. And this gives you an option to do that. I like the blending of this color, maybe to have. 
that's a little bit more orange. And I have not taken classes. In fact, if if you know me, I cannot claim myself to be an artist before I started. Everyone else is an artist, not me. But I don't know what came over me. One day, I decided that I'm just going to create for mental health, for ways to release some of that those emotions that was keeping me from living life and it was junk journaling and it was amazing because all I did was I just told myself let's not be we're not talking about perfection we're talking about experimenting exploring and trying new things that is what it was all about and that is what I did and it has been an amazing journey um, a journey of learning a journey of discovery in fact it's about discovering myself and uh, discovering uh, what works and what doesn't because not everything that you you know you see someone does say on the internet or whatever works for you because all of us are quite different we are unique uh, we have strengths and we have weaknesses and you know you need to discover and only you can discover that you know no one can tell you uh, how to do a cer things a certain way but um, but allowing yourself to to try and experiment and make mistakes um, you will figure out um, what is your style how you roll how you work uh, and and because you're not like doing art because you know unlike art at school right like you're doing for something for a grade or you know you are just exploring and see what works and what doesn't and and that is the way you grow that is the way you learn and you'll be surprised um what you discover at the end for me this is just the beginning i am learning so much and i'm just sharing it with you because you have been great encouragers of my you know when i share what i've learned i am so grateful for this community that you are um you are sharing um, your thoughts with me and I am humbled really humbled I'm not sure how this is going to turn out but this is this is how it is going to be and and usually it's like this I have no idea where this is going but let's see where it takes us and so I want to thank you for even coming to watch my channel and watch what I do because it's really humbling uh, to, to have an audience um, or people who support you and support your channel. I am grateful. So I thank you for coming. I thank you for, for taking time to just listen to my, <laughs> my musings. Um, and... Um, Yes, I just wanted to share with you also um, um, if you are praying and you know my mom's situation. So I've been having uh, a lot of trouble trying to find a carrier for her. 
But I finally got a call from the the agency to say that she is going to be interviewed and and hopefully she will be eligible for some assistance. And that is a relief for me. So if you are praying, could you please pray that she will receive some assistance and that will help uh, my workload and my burden for her. Um, this is um, going to be, I think, yes, this is very interesting. I actually, so this is the first I think it's the first time I'm using this, this, um, so it's a tinted charcoal, uh, and it actually smudges a little bit, if you can see, it's unlike pencil, it smudges, and I think I like that, I'm going to, to smudge it a little bit, so it's not too perfect, you see what I mean, it's, yeah, have you used this before? Uh, this is my first time using this and I quite like it. And the scrappy flowers. I must say I love doing scrappy flowers better than perfect flowers. What do you think? Do you like scrappy flowers or perfect flowers? Yes, so that's day um, that's day 20 and I am going to do another couple. Uh, so uh, stay tuned and watch in order to speed up the driving, drying process, I am going to use the hairdryer. Uh, I am just, you know, I don't want to keep waiting. Wow, I think I am actually quite happy with how it turned out. Let me compare it with the, the cushion and you tell me. Like, so that's the cushion cover, right? That's the cushion cover, if you can see there. And that's my painting. I love painting on book pages. Have you tried that? I think, I don't know whether I will ever return to sketchbooks. Probably will, but I actually love that. I'm going to do um, the next day, so I'm going to skip that. Actually, at the end of this video, I'll show you the uh, a mini flip through of what is um, what I've done there. Um, and while doing that, guess what? Look at that. Okay, that's going to inspire my next page. Alright, this time I'm thinking that what I might do is I might compare it with drawing with my right hand and see what happens. Whether that is any different to... Uh, am I trying to be perfect? Or is that... How does that work? Um, it, it, is it more controlled, the flowers? And... And yes, I'm not sure about the butterfly. Okay, let's go. Right, let's try it. Um, yeah, I'm sort of happy. Let's see what happens there. 
And Alright, I was just thinking I might watercolor now.
Might start with the blue. I can hear my dog growling. Sophie, I'm training her currently. She's about 18 months and she is a handful full of chickiness and um, yes, uh, it's like having another little child to be quite honest. Uh, have you got pets and do they take a lot of your time? She's calling me. Mom, I can hear you. What are you doing? And yes, you know, before I got my dog, uh, people have said to me, oh, it's like having a newborn. And I'm like, oh, I have a, I've had newborns, like, and I don't think it's that hard. Like, it's hard, but, you know, oh, my goodness, she is a handful. And I think the reason why I, um... I thought that way it was because uh, we had a rehome dog and he was perfect. We got him at five and he was absolutely perfect. He was a real angel, to be quite honest. He was placid and he just, you know, was part of the family and, but he passed away uh, of cancer. Oh, it breaks your heart, really does. You know, uh, I never thought I could love a an animal that much. But he was a companion. He was just there, you know, like he was a friend. And yeah, it was it was heartbreaking. But um, I'm gonna get some pink. So, do you have a favorite watercolor set? Now, when I started watercolor, I started with this. This is actually like a kid's, a student watercolor set. And is it okay? Absolutely. I haven't even, and if you, so this is a, this one here is a Faber-Castell. Do you have to have perfect tools before studying? The answer is no. If you want the conditions to be perfect before starting, you'll never start. And I knew that. Uh, and you know what? It's okay. I, I probably could have mixed the colors, but I'm just too lazy. Um, so I'm just gonna just use this. And, and, um, and it'll be fine. It's okay to mix. You know what it's better to actually do uh, do some create like create then not to create at all and you know you can have all sorts of excuses and and not create sometimes you can have all the right tools and still not create right so it's not about having the best it's about using what you have currently and that's the same like with junk journaling uh, this is art journaling. Like, I love both. You know, actually, it like for me, I love both art journaling and junk journaling because it provides a variety for me, and I really, really like that. Um, so I think I might 
do a touch of yellow and can you hear her yeah she's yelling at me as usual <laughs> but she's cute i can't live without her actually she's just a delight even though she's naughty you know like your kids they have good times and you know where they are they are angels and they are absolutely beautiful and there are times when they drive you up the wall and that's okay it's all part of the fun and this brown oops and I'm not wanting the watercolor to be perfect because uh, as in staying within the lines i'm making it scrappy and i'm just gonna add some metallic green here and just a little bit of green Okay, it's all about trying. I have no idea. I'm thinking these are like um, seed pods. I'm gonna go because they're browning green, so I'm gonna just move that brown. Just put a little bit of green. Okay, no expectations. Uh, and maybe just I'm gonna just and a little bit of orange. Yes, yes, I'm getting there. And with the butterfly, I'm thinking maybe. Maybe a bright orange. Not being a hundred percent the same as this. But similar. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to get my Posca. Okay, I have dried that with the hair dryer. I'm still listening to my dog growling at me. And, okay, this is, this is a jelly roll pen. If you're not sure, it's a jelly roll, uh, a uh, jelly roll, Signo, uni bowl. Uniball Signo pen and I'm just going to just add a little bit of interest by going over it and this one again it's meant to be like imperfect not too perfect you know you can see those furry things i don't know what you call them uh what uh stamens i think i don't know you know where the bees land on yeah those things 
yeah that's what I'm trying to create there uh, where you have your pollen on there so in this one And I'm going to just right here. One hundred the project. This is I know it's day number twenty one. Just to be different. And this one is 100 the project the 20 okay I was going to do three but I think the video is long enough uh, I might show you the others uh, in the next video. I'll do a couple then as well, and then I'll show you the flip through, uh, making sure that it's not too long. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.